my goodness, my friends, this is like an all day affair. Okay. And sadly, I'm gonna have to charge the camera again. So I'll organize this a little bit in the meantime. I'll be watching more closet declutter videos for motivation and inspiration. Um, so yeah, I'll just talk about these things. The Disney, this is not Disney, no Star Wars is not Disney. Um, Christmas stuff, and then I'll get into everything we talked about. Anyway, so this is my Stay Golden C3PO shirt. I got it, I don't know how long ago, as <laughs> a gift. I love it. And I like the colors together with like the deep gold, bronze, with the darkness, like a oh, blue gray. It's kind of blue gray. Um, so he's good. This one, you will be surprised. It's like, is this MV style? No. It's an investment. I've got some pictures. I'll get more pictures in it. So it's time to move on. It's perfect. So I'm going to sell this for some big bucks. If you're interested, be prepared to spend a lot because this guy deserves it. It was expensive in the first place. Look how Star Wars it is. It's too perfect. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. Like, I like it. I, I really love the movies mostly for the clothes. The fashion is pretty awesome. Um, But yeah, it's still really cool. I had to do it. So you have the Star Wars here, you have the classic galaxy here, just black and white, plain and simple. In the back, you have the blue font. There's their phrase, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Look how sweet that is. This is pretty sweet. I'm going to leave him hung up. I think it's a him, not a her. Okay. There you go. This I will be keeping. This is originally, I want to say, from Walmart, and it's kind of like a jersey style. You've got Mickey's name in the back, Mickey's face right here, classic black and white, kind of sporty. And then, yeah, I gotta fix this up. <laughs> it's a mess. This I have for so long, I think since I was like a freshman in high school. It's from Forever 21. It's their Disney line. And look at the cute colors. Look how cute. I love the colors. You've got Mickey and Minnie on the front and it's a pretty bubble gum pink. Just a sweater, you know. Not a any sweater. This Bambi, I think, well, Disney said this was his favorite movie if I got that, right? And I can understand why it's just too cute. Look, we got Bambi and Philippe. Is that her name? Philippe? I know it's not Philippe. I'm awful. I'm not, I'm not on that game right now. But it has the little scene of her, of her kind of like stalking him. I love that. So cute. That was from Target. This I got is actually matching me and Daxton. <laughs> okay, he has his own. Oops, <laughs> so much stuff. Holy poop. Um, it's custom. It's custom. So this is perfect for a little wiener dog who's a little bit overweight. <laughs> and this is perfect for me. This is a little bit oversized. So you have the cute holiday pattern with ornaments and candy canes and gingerbread house and gingerbread men. And the colors, it's like kind of an orange red with the bright green, and it's just too cute to put that back. So that's awesome. I'll leave it up here. Okay. Now this I've had for a long time. I'm now 25. I've, I've had this since high school. So it has a Christmas pattern here, kind of unique material. It looks like those things you would put in like the oven, like maybe 90s or 2000s. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. You get the Christmas tree, the snowflake, the ranger, the snowman. Bright red, bright colors, so that's fun. Up here. Um, this I got with my friend. She said, "Don't buy it." Sorry, Em. I still have it and still didn't keep it. Like a Christmas present. I love the Christmas colors and the big bow. I think it's too cute. So, yeah. That one was thrifted. This one. This one was Etsy and too easy to show you, but the matching, you know, with your dog one. This is American Stitch. Maybe that's. And then, this is from my brother Dakota. <laughs> I think it's a llama. They would do llamas alpacas as a trend, right? Or was it just llamas? Anyway, they're kind of the same. <laughs> so, it's this fun, huge, <laughs> ugly Christmas sweater, but I think it's pretty cute. He gave it to me because he doesn't want stuff. <laughs> so, it's just red and white, and look how cute he is. Okay, and then this one is actually kind of falling off. This is a crazy llama one. Got it in the mall somewhere. 
Not the mall. I think it was Target, I want to say. It's by 33 degrees. What is the weird sound makes when it just went? The last one, the last llama one was Blizzard Bay. This one, 33 degrees. And look, he's hanging out in the snow by a tree. <laughs> he's just so cute. Look at this one. Not too good. Yeah, I got it somewhere in the mall. I think it was like Macy's or Jersey Penny or something. So those are good. Mm -hmm. Right. And the Star Wars one here, I don't know if it's still available at Disneyland or easy, hard to find. I don't know. Um, let's see. Yeah, my camera's going to turn off here in just a sec. Right now we're looking at 2 p.m. I'll have to leave in like an hour. Um, what I'll do at this point, I'll turn the camera off, charge it, organize this a little bit, I'll put things back. And then I'll pull down the nicer dresses. I'll do that just before I turn the camera on again. Because, why am I telling you guys all this? You guys don't care. Um, just because I want to keep them nice. So let me go do that. In the meantime, I'll be busy. Yeah. Oh, are we going? Yes, OCD and perfectionism is so much fun. Oops. Um. Anyway, just update. Camera charged. Previous clips, there were six of them with the clearing of the closet words <laughs> and then the clips that were fails in the beginning, just introduction, whatever. What am I saying? Unimportant, unimportant, unimportant information. Okay, let's <laughs> mess. I'm so tired. I've been doing this for too long, but the break was kind of nice. I had no way for us to time you over before we leave. And the time has been moved. So right now it's almost 3.30. We're going to leave a little after 4. The dinner is at like 4.30, whatever. So that's the new plan. So I have a bit to film. So let's do some more of this. I decided on sweaters next. So we'll do that. Um, I'm thinking here with the bras what I could do. And as you can see, I somewhat intelligently, I know I'm smart about this. When we first moved here now a year ago, yeah. We've been here for a little over a year. Anyway, since day one, since I had my closet with my stuff, what am I saying? Since I brought my clothes into this new house, I always had the dresses, the church modest laundry dresses here placed intentionally, essentially like into the laundry basket here. And it works. It obviously doesn't go all the way to the bottom and I'm really on top of my laundry so it's not like it's unsanitary or not clean. But it just makes the most sense here. And then I have sweaters on this side. I have my shirts, short sleeve, long sleeve here. And then holiday stuff. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> I've been doing this too long. Sorry guys. I'm not at my best right now. I'm pooped. Glad I have the day off though. But anyway, um, and the light is like traveling over. So I'll have to figure out what happens for the rest of today. How far we can get into this stuff. Um, but yeah, then what I'm thinking is I'll move these guys down here. I can move some of the longer dresses more on this side. So that's just because these are so short, but it would allow more space here. I don't mind the spacing with the sweaters. They're only on this half of the bottom rod and then here I don't know you'll see what happens I'll see what happens I don't know what's gonna happen as of now but let's do the sweaters okay so these are the brown ones and by the way this guy talked about how he was a maybe but ooh, there's a hair somewhere <laughs> where did it go anyway um this guy is going to go from the maybe pile to the no pile. So he's going to go, and then this I have draped on the not tripod, but the little brown chair that you guys are resting on as a tripod. Um, yeah, so this, the down east polka dot black and white dress, or cream and black dress, this can actually stay. So, let's do that. Put him right here, sure. 
Okay. Like so. And now, your eyes do not deceive you. There is still a lot in here and you can see the spacing. There's just not a lot of space in between the hangers, but we'll see what else I can do. And the pile is pretty big. I'll show you the stack of hangers. It is like a leaning tower pizza right now. So that is good and I'm proud and happy with the outcome this far. So let's get to this. <sighs> I talk too much, I know. This is from It's Pure Gold, Gold is spelled G-O-U-L-D. I got it thrifted, had it for forever. It's a three quarter length sleeve sweater knit, or knit sweater. Has a cream collar here, made out of crochet. There's a keyhole in the front. And this is just really, really cute to me. It's very cottage core, I think. He can say, this one makes me mad. Like I see this and I turn red. Not like I'm blushing, but I'm angry. So I don't know, I've worn it and it does itch a little bit. So maybe that plays a role into this my anger towards it but I have worn it for several holidays like Thanksgiving and years past and I think even on my birthday one year yeah definitely I think when I turned 20 so not the cutest outfit for a birthday now I've tried to really step it up and be more festive but I don't know it's okay it does have a gold thread throughout it's a tan sweater has little cute buttons going down really big and oversized this one's by brand new and I'm just going to part with it. It just doesn't bring me joy. It is sparkly, but it doesn't spark joy in me. <laughs> that was cute. Emily quotes. This I got with my mom on a trip we did. And this is from Abound. It's a size large. So it fits a little oversized. It's supposed to fit tighter. But it's just a knit cropped cardigan. And it just has tan buttons and sweatery details, I don't know what I'm saying. Just a tan sweater, this guy can stay. It'd be cute with leggings, a little bit of this thinking through, I don't know. This I did get thrifted and I never wore it. I don't even think in a try on. It's by Blue Pepper, Blue is spelled B-L-U. Um, it does have pom-poms on it. I remember when pom-poms were huge several years ago. It's nice fall colors with the different shades of brown and. It is cute, it's just, I don't know, I don't see myself wearing it, and I never have worn it. So, you can actually go, it's too bad because it's in like mint condition. I don't see any flaws on it, the only flaw is that I don't care for it. Same with this, sadly, I think I got these at the same time, the same thrift trip. This one is down east, and did I say friend? I did, whoever got those. Yes break a hanger here okay this is a not quite three quarter length sleeve not quite short sleeve but whatever sweater um it's kind of a warm tone brown with these white flowers on it and Donnie does really cute colors especially sweaters and dresses two of my favorite things to wear it's just it's brown and to me it's kind of dull I would want to wear something like let me show you Three, two, one. Something like this. And you're going to see a lot of this style. Oh my god, a breath. Okay. Um, it's needles and yarn. I should have it memorized by now. I always want to say needles and thread, but I think that's a different brand. But I got this on Poshmark. Same with the other ones. I think one or two I actually thrifted elsewhere, but one's a different brand and one has a similar style, but totally different. If that makes sense. So this is the brown one with red and purple flowers. There's gold thrown in there too. And these sweaters, I found them on Poshmark originally. And no, I think I thrifted some in person and then I found them on Poshmark again. Or Poshmark for the first time. Thrifted first, fell in love with them, tried to find them online, found them on Poshmark. And I bought more. <laughs> I have way too many. I probably have like six or seven. I don't know. But just look at the details. It's just quirky and grandma. In fact, these are from the 80s. And I did the math on that. I was like... Basically, they're around 35 to 40 years old, probably, and that's insanity to me. I'm now 25. The 80s feels like not that far away. I'm still stuck in the mindset like it's the early 2000s. <laughs> like, I'm stuck in the time period of when I was growing up, and that's just crazy to me to think. That's good so far. Daughter of three, keeping three. 
this I'm scared of birds in real life but I really like birds on clothes apparently so here we have some little red birds and also a little tan one there's a red one in the back and this is really really heavy so I know it's good quality it's by CJ Banks so Christopher and Banks and I just think it's really cute is that right yes yeah CJ Banks so the name kind of makes me sad. If you watch me, then you will love it. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Um, but yeah, this is a brown sweater that I can do. I usually prefer tan, but that's okay. Um, so that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Got rid of three, saving four. Um, we'll go into the gray ones next. Yeah, I'm just admiring my handiwork so far. Okay. This one's speaking of a brand called Christopher and Bix. This is from Chris, Christopher. Um, and the word again? Yes, um, he gave it to me forever ago, around the time when we first started dating, and you know, it's all complicated, blah, blah, blah. But this, not only is it really cute, but it's still special to me and on good terms, and so I feel fine keeping this. If this were from somebody else, I wouldn't, but you know, because we're on good terms. I think that's fine. So, it has a giant cow neck. It's a huge, oversized sweater. It's by A and I or A and 1. I can't really read it. But it's just a nice gray color. There's black speckles in it. And you can roll up the sleeves. It's basically like a sweater dress. I guess I have two sweater dresses. I just thought about this one sometimes. Um, and then it has little ties on the side. And just the sweater, classic sweater detail here going down. So, yes, I think when he gave it to me, I'm getting all emotional, I'm kidding, but he said, like, if I'm not around, you're going to still be born, or something really corny to you like that, which I thought was hella cute. Um, this is gifted, it's by, plain and simple, BP, BP, I don't know, and I got it thrifted. It doesn't really look like much on the hanger, but it's pretty cute, like, over dresses and stuff, and it's just a long sleeve hood with pockets, gray cardigan. Really, really comfy cozy. So there's that. And then this is originally Walmart, but I found out on Poshmark and I'm glad I did. Because I wanted an open yet closed cardigan, which is basically very hard to find. So it's gray with white stripes. And then you can tie it here in the front into a little bow. So a dress underneath, super, super cute. Goes about mid thigh length, and I love it. So those past the test. I only have, yes, I only have two black sweaters, just not a little black. This is by L-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. I got it at Kohl's actually. I was on the job when I saw it. I worked with a boy with autism and he loved to get out of the house. And so he would just go to stores, it was so cute. And I saw this there in the back door, like I went back for it. They had a pink one too, but I went with the black, surprisingly. And then, the sleeve is kind of like open with little black and white striped bows. So it's just a plain cute knit. And then this one I got, yeah, Forever 21 has a little angel face on it, like a little cherub. Is that how you pronounce it? Those are great. And then we're getting to the unit. I'm a way out. Over 10 minutes. Okay, so <sighs> I feel rushed. It's just I talk too much, so I bring this on myself. Okay, this is originally Walmart, it's no boundaries. Well, I bought it at Walmart, so it's not lifted originally from somewhere, whatever. Um, still up. So it's kind of like that sheep material, but it doesn't itch, and it's really comfy, cozy, very warm. I wear this one probably the most out of all my sweaters, especially this time of year, and it just gets cold here, and stays cold here for a while, if you're in Idaho, where I am in Idaho. Um, it has like the ring zip going down, it has a hood, it's a cute cream color, it has a kangaroo pouch pocket, and then here, <laughs> this I thrifted with my dad on a trip forever ago, I think it was a work trip and I tagged along. Um, this is by Artisans Screen and Printing and Embroidery, cute, and it was like a shapey material, but even when I thrifted it, it was kind of down more, not as fluffy, I don't know. And then it has a pretty pastel floral pattern on it. And it's really, really, really cute. I just don't wear it as much anymore. Oops. 
Shein. I find a lot of Shein at my thrift store here in town. Like, surprisingly. I don't know why it's everywhere. I didn't used to see like anywhere. But this is a cropped sweater, really fuzzy, and it has a butterfly here, so it's kind of that trendy piece. I don't think it's as trendy anymore, but, you know. Um, this is by Workshop Republic Clothing, and it's pretty sheer, pretty thin, but still very cute. has rainbow stars on it, like kind of embroidered or whatever, words, um, and it's just a nice cream white sweater, very cozy and soft, good for pajamas and loungewear. I think it originally came from like TJ Maxx, yeah, Workshop in TJ Maxx. This I'm debating on, you know Star Wars I showed you, I have it tucked back here, safe and sound. I did ask my dad, he wants to think about it, if he's not interested, I'll ask my brother Dakota. You know, just if they want to buy it off me, but I might just sell it myself. I don't know, and it would make my Poshmark look good, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. This is Wild Fox I got on Poshmark, also, by the way, but um, I really do like it, I've always wanted Wild Fox. And I DIY'd, my mom helped me forever ago. It was really ugly, like, I thought it was cute then, but if I look back now, I don't think so. But it was a red sweater with a red and white floral heart that we had put on ourselves. This one is legit, real wild fox, real heart sweater, white with a red sequin heart, and it's very cute, it's just very thin. Maybe I'll sell it after Valentine's Day, like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm thinking about it, I'll let you know when I this it could be cute in a picture like off the shoulder but it's not I'm not old me well I'll just leave it here okay it's funny because I did put it back up on my Poshmark after I bought it and then excuse me then I took it down I don't know this my brother Dakota says if you ever don't want it I do it <laughs> We're half Canadian because my dad's Canadian and my mom's American. These are Canada geese, not Canadian. They're called Canada geese. There's some on the front. There's a lot on the back. And it's just a maroon sweater. I got this actually at a garage sale with my friend. I've had it for years and years. I like the gray layer here. It looks really cool. Just like that. Just a little piece right there. And I'm not doing a good job anymore. I only got rid of brown stuff. And brand. Oops, sorry. Just Hanes active wear or whatever. Okay. This hanger means something in the wash that's drawing them. And then this I do like. It's Eddie. Is it Bear? Bear? I don't know. Really oversized like a Henley kind of waffle material. It's good for pajamas. Um, It's not my favorite and my makeup's going crazy. It's not my favorite, but I do love this pastel pink, and I do like Henley, so might as well keep it for loungewear. This, right, this is that other thing that's drying. So two pink things are drying. I'll show you that over my chair. This I can get rid of. It's from my mom. It was hers, and she gave it to me. It's by Style & Co. No, I can't do this. I see this, and I just get mad. It's one of those things. Cute bubblegum pink with the cinching and the ruffle sleeves and bottom. But the neck is really awkward. I'm pretty small. Very small. And it just feels open. I just feel exposed. Even if I have something under it, I don't feel like protective. Like, I get boots, kind of. This is sad to say goodbye to because, sentimental. My mom and I went on a thrifting trip. Well, it was just a trip, but of course we stopped in at some thrift stores and this was her find for me and it's a really different kind of pink color like muted it's a knit and it has a big long tie here in the front and I do like it it's just I never ever wear it and I was keeping it just for the sake of like oh hey my mom picked this out for me that was a really good day and fun trip but I have other things from her gifts in my room gifts in my closet and I have my mom herself, you know, like, the fact that I have her all the time, that's great. So this is what I was talking about, kind of like that same style, where it's a thick knit, you know, the one that I have, like, six different versions of, um, pretty pastel ribbon, floral embroidery, beading going on, 
Did I say beading twice? I don't know. Um, slight v-neck, very thick. So here at the top and the bottom and on the sleeves we have that cool, colorful embroidery going on. I love this. Dana Scott, Dana Scott, I don't know. Oops. And then this is the one I thrifted with my friend Breezy. I think this was the first one I got aside from this. This isn't... Yeah, I'm just making a video. Yeah? Well, Mom's thinking if we can get a pizza bike cafe right now. But it's earlier. I know. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Uh, can we go in like five minutes? Can you ask her? Yeah, we're trying to leave in like five. In five minutes. Okay. Bye bye now. Poop, I was in the middle of this. That's okay. Um, so I thrifted this with my friend Breezy, and this one is pink and white with a really cute color here. This is the brand Diamond Hill. I think this is the only one from Diamond Hill I have, but this same color, I was able to find like this same cut and style, just from a different brand. Very interesting, so I don't know which came first or who copied who. There is a small stain here in the back, but that's okay. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> so yeah, thrifted, and this one I just love, love, love. A few more, and then I have to print and get ready to go to the bathroom. There. Um, so here's another one of those. This one is pink and white, with also pops of green, orange, and purple. This is the brand Needles and Yarn. This I wore, I think, on my 21st birthday. This was before I got into Let's Dress Up on my birthday, because why not? So it's color blocking from cream to pink to mauve purple. And it's just, you know, Zag Harbor. I thrifted it. I like turtlenecks. Uh -huh. There's this. This is by Tailbox. I'm pretty sure it's a good brand, right? This one, I get a lot of compliments on it. It's a nice watermelon pink. You can cuff the sleeves. It has a little button at the neckline. And I like how the sleeves and the bottom has like kind of stripes going on. Whatever that means. Yes, I used to have two of them. It's by Pink Rose. I think it's like Macy's in the mall or something. I had a maroon one too, but I like this one more. I passed on the other one. So this is a nice, almost like shimmery kind of velvet. It's a pretty pink color. So yeah, that's Pink Rose. This is actually maternity. I thrifted this with my friend M. It's called Motherhood Maternity. And it's a 2X. <laughs> and this is really, really cute. So it has like... A layered effect kind of where it's like the crop sweater with this almost flannel plaid material kind of and the colors are pink oh there's a hood too pink and maroon and I do like that this is not looking good this is Abercrombie and Fitch thrifted and it's a cream with a beautiful pink floral on it this is the Abercrombie that I knew where it was sweaters muted colors very classy very feminine love the hood and it has like a jagged type of hem i don't know that's what <laughs> okay we'll do the last of the pink and then we'll come back to this and we'll probably be pretty dark by that time i just want to get it done today i have other goals i have to do too but i can get to that. whatever this i got on poshmark i was really on the hunt for the perfect pink pink i don't like love pink you know victoria Pink. This is the perfect one. It's really bright, bold pink. And it says Love Pink on the back. And then you have the little logo right here, little dog. Has a pouch, has a zip. And I think it's pretty perfect. There is a small stain on the hood. Never mind that. Not too busy. Okay. And then this other hanger right here goes with this. This is from my cousin. I used to wear it like religiously, even though I'm not that religious. Um, so it's just a zip up. It's a maroon color. Nothing much to say about it. It's from the brand Z I N E, Zin, Zin, whatever. I really have to pee. Um, so put that guy back there. And yeah, let me see the time. Okay, it was almost time for me to turn the camera off anyway. So, yes. So we went through the neutrals and the pinks. We'll get into the rest. There's not that many more sweaters. 
get into the rest of the dresses. I'll show you here. I'll show you shoes. Um, suitcases. I'll pull something out. I'll show you that. I know that can go. I'm happy with the rest of what's in the suitcases. I'll do a like tour collection of those things. And then we'll do drawers later. My bladder. <laughs> I'm going to get a bladder infection. See you later. All right. Whew. Over the hoarder's pile. <laughs> So, I am back, and other update, the sun is basically gone by now, but that's okay. I know of people, I've come across videos, closet cleanouts, declutter videos, where the people are up all night, and they have lighting of all kinds, or lack of lighting. So, let's just continue. I do have other goals for the day, I'll see if I can get to them, but this is priority because I don't know the next time that this could have happened. I just really need this cleanse and this break, and to me it's a fun break, fun way to spend my free time, I guess. Out of breath. Okay, we were on sweaters, so we just went through the neutral and the pink, which is a lot. I really love those color palettes. Well, pink, preferably. Okay, this is the only yellow slash orange sweater I have, I think. So, this is from Marisa's. It's huge and oversized. It is like a mustard kind of golden orange sweater and then here at the bottom it has a flannel detail kind of like the other pink one we showed you where it's got the sweater and then here the trim the bottom part has a different pattern material thing going on. This one is red, orange, and navy and then the little tie here bow around the cow neck that is the same pattern and color. This I really really do like. I'll keep it. I wore it to the pumpkin patch and the pictures really turned out. I love that picture. This, now we're getting into the green, down east, but of course. This is really cute. I prefer long sleeves if I wear a shirt at all, but this is too quarter length sleeves, it's still okay. And it's kind of like a baby doll or a peplum, whatever. It has little buttons going down. I like the brown against the green. It's a nice forest green kind of color. I'll hang on to it. I don't wear it that often, but it's like so comes in handy. It would be good for work. Maybe I should wear it tomorrow. Me, yeah, I don't know. I always prep my outfits for the next day. The night before I need to do that before the day's end. I'm gonna have a break from this eventually. Um so yeah I'll pick an outfit. I have many options and now that I'm aware of what I completely fully have these days. Um yeah I'll think of something. It just really helps because next day you're not scrambling in the morning before you're out the door and you're not feeling indecisive and you know your outfit's going to be cute because you had planned it and you're not wasting your time with being stressed. Anyway, so this is wallpaper. It's like wallpaper but the end is still H-E-R and I want to say it's from my sister Ashley or Griffith. I don't remember. I don't think I got it online. Anyway, it's very, very cute and it has a muted kind of fall color palette, floral with the blues and the golds and the pinks and also green. I love the navy green. What <laughs> navy green is that? Um, I had to say olive green. Olive green bow and underlay kind of. So this is really, really pretty. I do like that one. This is a nice colored green. Words. I'm so tired, obviously. Um, it's more like a pastel, almost sage green kind of. And it has buttons. It's just an oversized cardigan with big sleeves. I like layering it just because it's... And this is going to fall over. And every declutter you see, the pile always falls over. Um, mine falling over? I think he's lost the negative. Okay. We're back with one of these. This is the needle and yarn, yet again. This one is a nice kind of mint green blue with these beautiful roses here with little beaded pearls. I love the pattern. They're just very unique. It's like a girly 80s look. Very cute. And then here we have this. This one is blue and pink and red instead. And it has this one leaf that's a bright blue and it matches my rain boots. I should get my shoes from downstairs. I'll do that later. I think I'm just missing two pairs at this point. And on this one, I need to wear this one more. It's kind of an icy wintery color palette. It's white with a nice mint blue, and there's some nice minty green in here too. 
a lot of gold. So this is very much a winter one. So once again, of course, needles and yarn. Um, this one is by Aria, or I guess it's Aria Collection. It's fifth and I've had it for forever. And it's kind of sporty with the little trim here with the white stripe. I love the powder blue. Just a nice fleece to have. I'm not doing a good job. Now this guy, and I'll show you its twin later. There's a pink version as well. It's hanging out on my bed. I'll show you those scenes in a bit. Those were just in the laundry. They're all clean now. Um, this one, it's like kind of a wintry pattern going on and I wear it all times of year ever since I got it. That's why, right? So it's just different shades of blue and yeah, just a little cropped sweater. It is kids. It's from Sonoma. Actually, it says it's a size medium. Made in Taiwan. Sonoma lifestyle for life and style. Anyway, yeah, this will be fun at the back. And, oops. This, I just kicked this over. It reminds me I have to run tonight. Maybe this will take all night though. Okay. This is by Free Valley, and I got it on sandworms.com, the Kauai website I talked about. <sighs> I need to learn how to breathe. Just a second. <clears throat> Are we good now? <laughs> and this reminds me of Toy Story with the sky blue color for the sky and then the little like fluffy clothes pattern. It's just so cute. <laughs> it's just so weird. So I won't get rid of this guy because it's just too cute. And I've worn it with mom jeans and I've gotten lots of compliments. Okay. This I got thrifted. This is originally Old Navy and it is a size extra large. I like the oversized look. The sleeves are very, very long because it is so oversized. And I like it. It's kind of a chill winter traditional pattern sweater. And it just has different shades of green, neutrals, and maybe blue. So there's that guy. I think it's pretty cute. I need to wear it more. All of these I need to wear more. Off for after. This I got on Etsy. They used a gild and heavy blend size then they just dyed it blue and it's supposed to be tie-dye but it kind of turned into one shade that's fine even when I bought it like I've washed it many a time but it's just always been more blue than white you can't really tell it's tie-dye anyway kind of like the Shein sweater that I thrifted with the orange butterfly this one has a blue one so there's that guy I want to get a new one but my wallet said no um this is from my friend M. She got it thrifted. It's originally Goodfellow & Co. Um, company, whatever. And what she did, she's really like craftsy and creative. She loves DIY projects. She just did on the navy sweater here at the neckline, the like turtleneck mock neck thing. She did, if you can see, some like string, what's it called? <laughs> she sewed a little border around it, like thread. Like, she did a little bit of stitching, and it's a pretty maroon color. I like that. And then this I was thinking I would part with, but denim can be kind of handy. See this pile right here? I think you can even see it from where you are. Let me see if you can see. Just about. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Let me take a look-see in the mirror. This one I think I'll keep, I just never wear it, but I think a denim button-up and a denim jacket might be good. Is this really even a jacket? I don't know. It's Forever 21, size small. I've had it for so long. Originally, I had a patch on either side, and then I moved into my patch. Denim jacket shirt thing, I'll show you that later. This is something else. I'm worried. Okay, this is a new one. It's another sheep, very warm, cozy type of material. It's a pretty maroon color. I got it thrifted. Originally, it's Cold Rush brand, size medium. And it has the hood. This one doesn't have any pockets. It does have little pom-poms in my knees. I love baby Gracie. Gracie is obsessed with pom-poms, and I still need to find her something with pom-poms. She'll always play with them. Love the color, though. It's nice purple. And then, oh, I forgot about Okay, let's get into this. This is also from M. This is originally Abercrombie. Bitch, there's buttons going down. They're just for looks. You can't use them. 
And this is what she did. She added this beautiful floral detail here. She did that herself. And I love this pink color. There's different shades. <laughs> this is called purple. Um, there's different shades in there. I've seen a little bit of pink. It's kind of rainbow, actually. I didn't really notice that before. Very, very cute. Very surprising for Abercrombie because they're usually very neutral. That's great. I'm only for this. This is Jessica Simpson. I got it at like an outlet, maybe. TJ Maxx, something. I don't know. So it's cropped, long sleeve, size small. It's just a cute little cardigan. And it has the button and the collar look going on. There's that. This looks something awful. I really like that. This is thrifted. I wonder why there's a hanger back there. What was that supposed to be? I don't know. And I'll find out later. I don't think I'm missing anything. But yeah, this I got from Pluto's Closet. It's American Eagle Outfitters originally. They call it the Prep Fit. The size extra large. I found it in the men's. They have the best oversized clothes and fans and stuff. Could wear it as a dress, but it'd be a little scandalous. But cute with leggings. I love the rainbow colors. Here, so you have every color of the rainbow. And this is, I think, the only plan I own. Okay. So this is a mystery. He's very mysterious. Um, what I want to do next is put the sweaters back. I'll turn the camera off. I could speed that clip up, but I would much rather save the camera battery and thus save time, if that makes sense, and just do this myself. I would rather talk about each item individually than speed things up. People tend to do that with these videos, and I'm not one of those. So let me do that, and then time check. Time check sets. 12 minutes. Full battery. Nice. Okay. Let me fix this. And then I'll show you the rest. You know, I'm enjoying this. Yes, I am tired and burnt out. Yes, I have other goals for the day. Yes, it's already 5.30. Did I say 5.30? These are ahead. Because I didn't change them back. Oh. Yeah, this must just be like that. Anyway, so I'm going to put on a video. Um, background. So, see you soon. Alright, and now, just a few developments. So, okay, this. I just wanted to rearrange this. I had it off to this side with the long sleeves, short sleeves. You know, but I'm going to have it just before I start the short and long sleeves, the official shirts. I'm going to put it with kind of like the tank tops. That way I'll also reach for it more and it has its category of friends properly in place. I don't know what I'm saying, but okay. So that will go here. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot better. It makes more sense. I mean, that technically does not have either long sleeves or short sleeves to it. Now this I moved from the sweaters here on the bottom. I'm about to move it up here. Technically it's sweatery material, but it's like a fancier sweater and I want my more cozy, comfy sweaters to be here, like very obvious sweaters. This is like a shirt sweater, right? So there's one other one I'll mention in just a sec. So let me put this one here. Okay. Okay, I'm like flashing you. <laughs> Can you flash someone this way? Is that considered flashing? That's mooning. Okay, um, we're not going. But yeah, same with this. This one here, it's a very shirt sleeve sweater. I don't know what that means. So we'll move this one here. No, but. Ruined my rainbow. No, this is fine. We'll have it off here. Okay, okay, I decided. 
We'll have it after the pink and before the blue. Rainbow goes, how the rainbow goes? Green, blue, and purple. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was cool. So that's what I decided to do there. This, I'm going to consider a shirt also. It's not like an obvious sweater. I would call it a shirt, Emily. So this I'll put with the pink. Right about here. No, wait. Satisfied, I'm content. My OCD approves. And then let me show you. Well, this isn't anything to talk about, but um, this hanger won't have anything on it for a bit for a while because I always put that. So I don't even really need this out, but just in case. Um, the sweater, oops, the zip up hoodie that I showed you, that. Um, that's fine to be over my chair. But I'll put it where it would normally go. Right there. Or no. There. Okay. Like that. There we go. Okay. And then let me just show you these two. This was in the laundry, just washed it. Fresh and clean. We'll put this with the pink sweater so he passes the test. This is sanctuary. Um size large got it with my mom on a trip. She really regrets not getting one for herself, but that's fine. It's like a subtle type of fuzzy. The sleeves are with a lower seam and they're kind of like balloon sleeves almost. And they do cuff, so it has a really cool look to it. Pretty pink color, kind of like the color of strawberry yogurt, I would say. And um, I put this here. And then this is that twin. It reminds me of my childhood. My sister Haley would be in the blue one. I would probably, well, definitely be in this pink one. Very cute. So, same exact thing. Sonoma, white and style side. Maybe it in Taiwan. That. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. Um, let's Okay. My face is probably all red. <laughs> Gonna get heat stroke. Um, I would say this is even a big improvement just from moving those few items here up top where they should normally belong. And then aside from that, I did get rid of a few sweaters, so that's good. So, further updates, also just to remind me. <laughs> I'm going to give this to my mom, or at least see if she wants it. I'll give it to her for free. She does so much for me. And then, this is off to the side because I need to work out. So I guess I do need another hanger handy. Hanger handy. <laughs> this is just an accident waiting to happen. All these hangers, I really don't want them to get tangled up. Some of them are like wrapped around the legs of the chair that you're on as a tripod. By the way, my house is very loud, so you're going to hear garages, voices, coughs, maybe kids crying, maybe a basketball going on. Anyway, so this is for my sister Ashley, and it's just a nice, I think I wore it in my last clean out. Clean out clock. Lots of declutter. <laughs> so it's just a dark gray hoodie, slight crop, has the logo here on the front kangaroo pouch style pocket, the drawstrings, hood. I actually run in this. That sounds like insanity, but I do. I run in it, and I don't know. I just feel very safe in a hoodie while I work out. And then this is what I usually wear. I do wear the other sports bra that I showed you. Oh, I forgot to move these. Thanks for reminding me. Me? <laughs> I'll move in a sec. Um, I do use the Walmart one sometimes, but I prefer this one. The material is softer and not as constricted, if that's the word. So this is a nice kind of mauve pink. It's Puma. I got it out of, I think, TJ Maxx, probably. And look how cute the logo is. I love the colors together. Pale pastel pink with the mauve, and then there's, like, 
kind of netting material, so it's really breathable. You, if you look closely, you will actually see some rainbow fuzzies because <sighs> I need to take the blame for this one. Um, I was washing stuff and I didn't realize till after, like, what's all this crap and these things and stuff all over my clothes? Thankfully, it was only a few items. This was the one that really got it, so I'll wear it tonight and um, I'll take care of it another time. It's not a big deal. I'm not a perfectionist about my clothes. Like, I don't know, if clothes have like a hole or a tear, like this, obviously, I hardly wear this. It's a very nice brand, it's very expensive, and I will religiously wear like thrifted things or non-name brand things all the time. But if something happens, if it gets messed up in any way, it's not the end of the world. So that gray thing, um, I'll put it here. And then that fourth rock. She doesn't have, does he have a spot? He does have a spot. He has a green, green hanger, and then this one I'm wearing has a pink hanger. Okay, cool. I was thinking ahead and I have something in my eyeball. <laughs> I hope not. Um, I did get eye laser treatment surgery and I'm back on Wednesday. We'll see how that goes. It will be fun. Um, just while I have you here, let me show you. And just behind the door, I even have stuff hung up on this wall. Um, I just have a side table and then stuff in case I sell stuff, like packaging and things. There's more under my bed. But these I got, was it Etsy? Etsy or Amazon? I'll let you know. So it's just like a knit. Can you close that? See? Anyway, it's just like a cream off white sweatery knit type of material. And then these are from, I love the pattern. They're kind of like Eastery, very bright. I like the zigzag purple and yellow and pink. They're just like nude tights with that pop of color. Those are from Target. And then these, I think they're from my mom. They're just a plain black tight, pretty thin. So. This is what I'm looking at here. These are tights and things. Um, I used to wear the black ones all the time. And now I really refer to those white ones. They're really thick and warm and cozy. Perfect for this time of year. Um, I'm really stalling on dresses. You know, let's just have a break and I'll show you shoes. And we'll go over what's here. So let's do that. Sounds good. Oh, hi. I'm so grimy. I really need to shower. Okay. So here are my shoes. And at the end of the video, I'll also include the other two. We have blue rain boots here. I also use them for snow and in the winter. And then here is supposed to be my moccasins that I got from Target, just a plain black. And I can't tell you where everything is from, gift for my mom, or from my mom. They kind of have a tribal print to them, just a classic brown boot, I guess. And these are Madden Girl. Yes, Madden Girl. And they're just a cute little small heel booty. And then these are also booties. These are Steve Madden. And I love this blue color. They're really fun to take pictures in. These are Nikes. They're like a Cinderella blue. These are also Nikes. I need to wear them more. They're really, really cute. I got them on Poshmark. They're just really unique, like a slipper. I don't even know what you would call them. I forget what they called them online. But it was a name that was also weird, so of course I forgot. <laughs> um, just Converse, plain black, classic high tops. These are from Target by brand, it's a nude day, and they're just like nude glossy heels. These are American Rag, it's funny because my mom's friend, who's still like my friend, she has the same pair, it's like a suede Mary Jane black style kitty heel kind of, but it's like a wedge. They're so gross and dirty, but I love them anyway. These are from Poshmark, I bought them brand new, tags, new box, everything. They sell them in bulk also, I think. Is that the same person? Anyway, I like how they're opposite. They're black and white, but each one is like flip-flopped, if that makes sense. 
I'll get it because they're kind of like flip flops. <laughs> I thought it was funny. So yeah, um, I replaced my pink ones forever ago. Well, I got rid of them and now I wanted to replace them. They're really nice to just throw on and I would use my mom sometimes in the summertime. So there's that. These flip flops, I think it's by Reef, is that the brand? These are my mom's. My other ones got demolished in the summertime last year. Um, I was trying to walk in the water, didn't work out, and then they like split kind of. And then kind of hard to see. The bow bedazzled sandals are from somewhere in the mall, I think like Macy's. These are Target. They're just like those classic really cutesy sandals. These I need to break in. They're those canvas toms in a black color. And then here back here we have these kind of like golden mustard colored little flats and they have a cute little strap. You can't see it from here but they're really cute. All princessy. And then here are the ballet style shoes I told you guys about. They kind of go up the leg a little bit. You can kind of see the bows. And just classic ballet from Target. Um, back here I got these on Poshmark. They're just blue heads. Here I got from the Converse website just a nice pale bubblegum pink low top to replace my hot pink ones I've had for forever. These are from the brand Blowfish. I got them at a shoe place randomly forever ago. I still have them. I can never part with them. I love the color, the dusty rose with the crochet. Yeah, once again, out of breath. I think I talked about everything. So yes, that's a lot of pairs of shoes. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then here's just my bathroom stuff. And every time I need to use it, I just plop it in actually this bin and there's enough room for things that I need every now and again. Um, and then I just take it to the bathroom. Like if I need a shower, get ready for the day. Usually I just use my desk and this is the nastiness going on, but I'll just use my desk, kind of push things over, move that small mirror off to this side, do my makeup, you know? Um, so yeah, and then we have little snacks <laughs> that I bought myself that I don't want the family to steal course cereal um random things so this pink bow belt from Downies can stay these I don't really need to talk about these are just bathroom essentials what I would use you know Ooh, I forgot about those chocolate bears um so this is a shirt from my dad's work just has his logo on it and I just have two pink tie-dye shirts they're probably just my hands or hands however you pronounce it um, there's a Nike shirt here, there's another Nike shirt here, there's well, it's a Nike, <laughs> Nike running like thumbhole long sleeve shirt, and then electric pink, is the brand Nike? I don't think so. I think these ones are Nike though, the watermelon and orange ones. These ones for sure, the black and white classic. Then my BYU shirt, this shirt I would use to mow lawns and it's just like Under Armour. It's from my... <laughs> words it's from my brother Dakota I've had it for a long time just a forest green and then this pink shirt's from my mom I don't know the brand it's like task I don't know something like that um so yeah and then these are work shirts when I worked at Great Harvest this again is my dad's shirt it's a logo thing and then this is from someone hi if you're watching I know you're not um this is got glitter it's really cute it was a thing from camp this is from camp, this is from when I was a senior, and this is a shirt I tried to DIY that didn't work that I'll attempt again. So there's that. Um, let's go here, don't you love the decor? I wanna show you guys what's in this bin and this bin. These can stay, I don't really care about them, I don't know. Um, I have my two high school sweatshirts One's like lost and found that I was able to get my hands on. It was fine. This one I bought specific for my class, I think. Or did I get it as a sophomore? Eh, I don't remember. And then this is BYU vintage. This is BYU kind of vintage. And then this is a newer style from my sister Ashley. So not as vintage. And then these are just some shirts. Um, what are these? Let's see. This is BYU. This is BYU. I can kind of remember. This is cross country, cross country. Um, cross country, some of these are like plain. That one's plain. And then and I still have them, my middle school even, and then also my high school PE shorts. 
because I am a nerd. Okay, now what we're going to do is look at this and look at this. Um, I've talked about all that stuff. The only clothing up there, I'll get to the skirts. I've talked about this before. I'll get that one thing out of there. And back there, see that little pink thing on top of that baby's book? Kind of. There's an Easter basket up there too. Another one. Um, there's a little baby onesie. I got it for my friend M, and I have a... Here. I'll set you down like that. Um, but I got a matching one for my friend M. Or I guess... Is this? She had the kid first. I don't have any kids. But if I do have a kid, then we will have both have the same outfit. I bought it for her kid, her baby girl, and I was like, maybe I should go into them too. Which is pretty dumb because I got no kids. So, alright, let's get to this. What's in bin number one? These, I love these. So, I've had them for maybe two Christmases now. I didn't pull them out because. I bought them myself and I kind of gave them to myself to me from me. Does that make sense? I think that was the story. And my mom is in the thing and so I want to be respectful and just wait till I move out. She just thinks they're too, like, quote, sexy. So they're Abercrombie & Fitch. They have a beautiful silky white bow. They have some lace trim by the pockets and it's kind of like a ribbed material. And it's kind of like form-fitting, which is probably why she's not into it. So I'm saving, oh, that was awkward, <laughs> like squatting, saving those. These I like, but I don't like, they are just huge. They're so big and bulky, they're like basically the same thing, just a thicker sweatery material. And when you wear them, you look like this, like, like huge. <laughs> it's not my size, it is, but you know, it's a size small, I'm trying universal thread. I love the color. It's a nice teal green blue kind of color. And it's great. I think there was a matching sweater, but they were out of them. They had other colors, but not in my size. So these I will pass on to Poshmark. I like them, but I don't. I'm glad I have pictures with them. Um, This is a scarf from Old Navy. I remember that. Just an infinity scarf. So I think it's Can you see? Nice both of them pink. I'll save that. This is from, I talked about this, those beloved pants I had to let go of because the fit was turning into something awful. So if these are little, well this is like a mustard tie you can use. I'll figure out what to do with that. I just like the color. I hate this word. It's called a leotard. Oh, it's just, I don't like that word. It bothers me, but I did ballet as a little kid. This is very sentimental. This is also very sentimental. This is from my brother Dakota. My nephews and niece, they would sometimes call him Coca. Coca-Cola is like your family inside joke. So there are those things. Oh, I found it right here. Yay, that means I don't have to look in the suitcases here. I know everything else but this, which I thought was in a suitcase. I know that those things can stay. Those are good. I went through them like late last year. Okay, this is Walmart. <clears throat> um. It's a size large, and I don't know what I was thinking. The cups are too big. Even without the cups, I wouldn't like it. It's just a stretchy bandeau type of thing. I'll pass on that one. Maybe I do have to go through and see if I have it in there. Wait. I have it somewhere, but it has the straps. It's like a little plastic bag with the straps. So I'll... Put these things away. Um, oh, did I talk about this? One second. Do do do. I think I talked about everything. So this I'll figure out where the straps are. And then this I got so long ago. I think it was Black Friday with my dad actually. That's cute. I was like in high school, maybe like 16 years old. I need to wash it. But it's just like a little headband, big headband. Sweatery material, kind of like in the shape of a bow. And I would wear it when I run. Now I have to run indoors because my exercise in asthma. But let me I have to turn the camera off in just a second. Um, let me actually do this really fast. We're fine. One more time. I think I already know what's in here. Okay. So this is a set from Target. It's a very pale gray kind of color with white tie 
and here's the cropped top to match, except for I got a size medium in this and a size small in this, just because I didn't want it as cropped. So this would be really cute. I just have to wait to wear it. I can get away with this at home. That's hard to do. It's more like, you know, so. This, I don't even have to explain this. No, I do have to explain myself. <sighs> From Walmart. From Walmart. <laughs> and from Walmart. My nephew, but well, no, my niece. Uh, my mom bought her, I think it was this one and this one. This one I found as well. But I'm just like, I better have a baby girl. Each one was only like four or five dollars at the time. So I was like, I need to do it. I really just need to. You know, this I'm gonna get rid of. My brother went to California and he brought this back. He was gone during COVID. It was for church, you know. Um, so he did his service there. But this I'm just gonna throw away on a say I'll I'll ask him about it. These are also Target. Here's this. This is the Brin Stars of Love. And it's just teeny tiny stripes. It's very cute. Pink and white with a pocket and then shorts to match. And then we have again stars above and this is a thicker material. Very cozy comfy on the inside. This is a tie-dye. This was to replace something I got off of Poshmark Forever Go. It's just this is a shorts version and instead of long pants and the colors are different. It has pockets too. Very cute. And then this stuff is pretty sentimental. These are gloves. They're cream with bows. That's from Haley, my sister. This, oh, these I would wear in Canada. Well, to Canada on our Canada trips when I was a little kid. Get the little pink fuzzy butterfly slippers. And then this is from Chris. It's like a three-piece set. There's a scarf and a hat and these gloves that can turn into mitts. You know, it has the two, two effect, I don't know, um, pretty teal kind of color. This I made with my friend, it didn't end well. No, maybe I made this with my mom. It was like a sewing class for me. I took two of them with a friend and with my mom at one point. Um, these are from, I think, my Nana Frida, those little gloves mitts. Um, it's way too small, it's supposed to be for me. <laughs> little ducky pajamas. This is Great Harvest. Um, do I hold on to this? I don't know. Oh, I have to show you my swimsuits too. I really want to go through those and I think I'll do some. Maybe. I don't really have a lot. This I remember my dad saw. It's by the brand N O F F, Moth or whatever. It's a cupcake. <laughs> cupcake hat, like a beanie. It's really, really small, but that's okay. We saw this at the mall. I was too shy to ask the person where they got it from. And my dad, he went up to them and said, Hey, my daughter really likes that. Where's it from? And now I have it. So, there's that. And this, it's this electric pink. New York NY game that I got when I went to New York a few years ago. So, here's that. Turn off the camera, charge it up, have a break. You know the drill. Whew. Yo, bro, I am gonna sleep good tonight with all this hard work, all this time and energy going to the clothes. Okay, so update. Um, here we have this. And I rearranged it so we have sentimental and winter wear, like honestly the only scarf I really wear, and then sentimental wintery things and something I should probably start wearing, um, you know. And then anyway, I have, and I also have room for this guy, this set to go here. These are my sets, like sweat sets, whatever. This will go on the lower shelf because I accessed that one more, That's right? Wanted to double check that everything's orderly and perfect. Just kidding. Um, so this was where the Coca-Cola here, Coca-Cola t-shirt was, and then you can see the winter stuff. This is the one that I really should be wearing. Um, though it might mess up my hair. Speaking of hair, how many hairs are there? So this will go back up like so. Won't really even need those things for long because before we know it, we'll be into the warmer months. Maybe. I don't know how I feel about that one. You know, time flies. How do you really feel about that? How are you supposed to? Now, skirts. 
The rule is they have to fit in my closet and they should easy just because think of all that we just went through together. I think this will be no problem, especially because there's less than 10. They were up here. Now we have just costumes and bags and crafty stuff, holiday stuff. Don't have to talk about it no more. Here we have this. I thrifted this with my mom. Originally Shein, but of course I almost forgot. I'm going to forget. It has this cool like kind of lace up detail here. Just a nice kind of white color. And then it's kind of a velvet suede almost. Slightly high waisted goes to the knee. Very surprising to find something like this, I feel like, that's actually longer into the knee. And I just love this pretty pink color, so this can stay. And I should actually wear this. What if you turned it into a little top? But it might even be a little too snug, even for my lack of everything. <laughs> this one is thrifted as well. Originally Jody, California. It's just a pencil skirt. I've been wanting one for forever. I'm actually glad I'm doing this right now because it's nice to know that I have this. And it looks a lot like a dress that I'll get to. Or no. That means I have two dresses very similar. And one skirt that looks almost just like the two dresses. But anyways, off-white pencil skirt. All over lace. Very, very cute. I said Jody, right? So both of those were thrifted. This was also thrifted. This is like my modest version of this. This, which was really cute with the red and white polka dot top. They're basically the same thing. This is just bigger dot, shorter skirt, and then longer and smaller dot, in a sense. So this one is from Haley Matthews. Haley spells H-A-Y-L-E-Y. My sister is H A I L Y effect. Fun fact for you. This I even thought of wearing it as a dress and it looks kind of cute. So it's kind of like a two in one. So there you go. I will keep this. This one, however, I've had this since high school. It's probably a sophomore. Wow, it might not even fit, even though it has a lot of stretch. I don't know. I haven't tried it on in forever. Well, that's a lot. I think it doesn't really last summer. It was a spring. It was last year. But um, I've had it for so, so long since high school. A lot of this stuff has been around for forever. But yeah, exhilaration when Target was good. And this, I feel like, was what girls were wearing when I was in high school. This was like very 2014, 15, 16 era. And I just need to say goodbye to it. And plus with my age, I don't know, I'm okay with a shorter dress, not a shorter skirt. If I wear a skirt, I want it to be knee length. That's my new motto. So you will go straight into the knee notes. This I bought online, I think eBay or Amazon or something, on my dad's account before I started to shop myself and use my own card and spend too much. <laughs> Easy access to spend too much. Anyway, it is T-length, pretty long, pretty peach. Has some fun material. We did have to add some material here on the bottom, like another slip because it was pretty sheer. Stretchy band, I think it's really, really cute. I wore it as a dress for pictures one time. With the red hair, it looks kind of cool. Red hair and peach, that's cute. That's cute, like that auburn red with this. That's fun. So I really like this. He can stay. This my mom and I made. Actually, this is the same material as my prom dress, which I'll get to. The one that I talked about. Well, the only one I have. Um, it's just a pencil skirt version. And I love this material. Look how unique that is with the sequins and the pop-out pop -out flowers. I don't know how to describe it. But our friend made that for us with the extra material from the dress. This I can part with. We wore it for family pictures. It's from Abercrombie and Fitch. It's just not exciting enough for me. It's okay, but you know what though? I didn't even wear this. I wore a jumpsuit. We actually ended up returning it after the pictures. <laughs> we just used it for pictures. This my mom wore, I believe, and she hung on to it and she gave it to me. And it's just so muted and neutral and just no. So yeah, I don't know. This my mom and I made as a project 
when I was maybe 14, 15 years old, I don't know. It has this elastic band. You can wear it high-waisted, you can tuck in the top. And it has these pretty fall colors on it, peach and red and yellow and gold. And this I'm pretty attached to other pockets too. <gasps> there are, we did so good. We're just so extra, we know how to do that. This makes me happy, I forgot about this, but this I'll never part with. My mom and I worked hard to make it. This is from my Nana Frida, this was hers. Somewhere here it has an air, like a little flaw to it, like a stitched detail that's a little off. You know what, I think it was a whole, yeah, right here. Look at these colors, and the pattern is crazy. It's like, I don't even know what. So yeah, she made this herself. It's kind of like slinky, silky material. There's even pockets. And the tail green and the bright purple and the fun peachy pink. And it's kind of like pink splatters, I don't know. So this. Oh, yes. I need to be wearing these. Some of my Nana Frida things, Nana Frida's things, I'm okay with wearing. That one dress that was hung up and will always stay hung up, that one is a no-go. That is something only she can wear. I don't think I've ever tried it on. This is from my friend M. She thrifted this. And it's originally from George. George. Okay. Um, it is a girl size, but I'm so small I can fit in it. Um, it's kind of cool. It's almost like velvet meets corduroy meets. What's the other thing that's similar? Velvet corduroy. I'm really trying to think of it. Maybe that's just it. Oh, suede. Mm, I don't want to say suede, just velvet corduroy. It's really cool. It's kind of like shimmery almost. And look what she did. Look what she did. Wasn't that so fun? Look at those cute little flowers that she did. And it's kind of like an indigo color. It's very, very cute. So I will hang those things up. We got rid of one skirt. Okay. I will put those probably in the place of the floral. So I'll move that there. I check the time. We really want to get to the drawers today. It's 6.30 right now. <sighs> Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's do the dresses right now. No. I know. I'm going to put some stuff away, charge the camera once again, probably for the better time. Chubbillions. Okay.